Chapter 521, The Six Elders. As the giant demon wolf riders saw Modie's blood essence turn into a blood-drinking seal, all of them felt a chill creep up their backs and their hairs stand on end. They realized that the several strange crimson runes that floated around Lin Ming were condensed from the blood essence of slain giant demons. What sort of cultivation method was this? Why did it seem even more demonic than their own cultivation methods? Run. All of the giant demons instantly reacted. They turned tail and ran. As Lin Ming saw this, he casually waved his hand. All of you. Also walk my path of slaughter. Ka. Over a dozen blood drinking seals shot out. Dark red light shined. And blood fell like rain. The protective true essence of these giant demon wolf riders was also torn apart like thin paper. The blood drinking seals easily pierced their bodies. They all tumbled off their wolves. Dead before they hit the ground. Screams echoed out again and again. This land had completely become an Ashura execution ground. Lin Ming flicked his fingers and the blood extinguishing demon thunder howled. Fogs of blood burst out from the dead giant demons, turning into new blood drinking seals that flew back to Lin Ming's hand, floating above his palm. As the surrounding martial artists saw this scene, all of them were numbed. This was a massacre beyond slaughter, it was a completely one-sided battle. They couldn't believe that this young man was only a Zion Shin realm martial artist. Humans had always been weak. Humans had always been looked down on by giant demons and spurned for their essence gathering cultivation system. Could a human really be strong to such a degree? In this world of giant demons, human martial artists had a very low status. The giant demon tribes dared to wantonly slaughter human tribes, but human tribes did not dare to do the same. This was because they feared the swelling anger from the giant demon tribes and that they would group together and kill them. But this situation wasn't formed because the human population was too low. In fact, humans reproduced at a rate much higher than giant demons. All of this was because the talent and cultivation system of the humans here were too poor. The humans' essence gathering cultivation system seemed as if it could never compare to the giant demons' demon essence cultivation system. Within the vast bewitching cloud prairie, the number of human revolving core martial artists could be counted on one hand. But there were actually more than 20 demon king masters scattered within the various giant demon tribes. Not just that, but a mere one star demon king was able to battle a middle revolving core master on even ground. In this sort of situation, it was inevitable that the humans would be enslaved by the giant demons. There were even many human martial artists that had given up because of this. They subconsciously thought that humans would never be as powerful as the giant demons and blamed the weak essence gathering cultivation system. But as they saw Lin Ming now, a faint hope rekindled within them. A human martial artist had jumped levels to kill a giant demon. The essence gathering system could defeat the demon essence system. As they realized this, all of the present human martial artists could feel the simmering fighting spirit that had been suppressed for all these years finally begin to ignite. As Huo Yuan saw all this, his heart suddenly stirred. He saw a bloodied spear on the ground. He leaned down, and with a great deal of effort, picked up that spear from the blue stone tiles. With a muffled sound, he attracted the attention of everyone. Huo Yuan lifted the spear and thrust that sharp spear toward the deep blue skies. Fellow brothers. Fellow compatriots. The giant demon race has oppressed us for far too long. We cannot stop their wolf riders, but our destiny is in our own hands. Do you want to be a slave for your entire life? If you don't, then follow me and fight with the war god. With our swords and with our sabers, we shall take our suffering in blood. We will tell the giant demons that they can no longer act so recklessly, because the ground underneath our feet is our grasslands. It had to be said that humans were animals that were easily susceptible to emotional infection, especially now, as they bore witness to Lin Ming's unstoppable slaughter and were again incited by Huo Yuan's shouts all of the humans' blood began to boil. They did not want to be slaves anymore. Only for this single wish, at this moment, they were willing to die without fear. This unexpected change caught Lin Ming off guard. He glanced at Huo Yuan. He didn't think this fellow had certain talents in this regard. Although he didn't need the help of the humans, if he had them on his side, he could more thoroughly wipe out a silent green tribe. Otherwise, with just him alone, it was impossible to kill off an entire tribe of giant demons. Kill. Let's go brothers. With a war god. Hearing this title, Lin Ming didn't know whether to laugh or cry. Lin Ming's casually spoken words had actually turned him into some so-called war god. The truth was, what human martial artists feared the most were the demon generals at two star or above, especially the wolf rider guards. Compared to them, the humans with the highest cultivation were only at the early Haushan or middle Haushan realm. Not just that, but they had very shaky foundations. To the wolf rider guards, they were nothing more than an unruly mob. But these wolf riders had collapsed in front of Lin Ming with just a single strike. This day was bound to be a day of blood. Slaughter would arise from all directions of the silent green tribe. The news of the human martial artist rebellion, as well as the death of Modi A, quickly propagated throughout the tribe like a tidal wave. When a wolf rider galloped into the tent that King He and her grandmother were hiding in, Kuo Zen, who was protecting them, was immediately tense. He thought that Lin Ming and his brother had been killed, and this wolf rider had been sent to kill them all. He nervously gripped the low-grade earth step treasure sword that Lin Ming had given him. It wasn't until the rider took off his helmet that Huo Zen was able to clearly see who he was. He was a martial artist that hadn't reached 20 years of age, and his cultivation was only at the bone-forging stage. The young man excitedly jumped off the wolf, his entire face red. He was out of breath, but still shouted, Huo Dodge General Huo wishes me to tell you that the war god Lord Lin instantly killed Mo Da. Now, the human martial artists have organized into a rebel army, and are going straight to attack the silent green tribe's headquarters. This sudden news shocked Huo Zen speechless. Behind him, King He was also covering her mouth in shock. As a common mortal, 
she didn't understand the differences in the realms between martial artists. But, Modier's terrifying strength had long since penetrated into her heart. She had once seen with her own eyes Modier break open a small hole with just his fist. In this city, the name Modier was synonymous with invincible. He was a king, no one could defy him. On the other hand, in King He's eyes, Lin Ming had always been a kind and gentle older brother with a sweet temperament. Before, when a giant demon had stirred up trouble and accused them of stealing sheep, Lin Ming had endured this insult and compensated with bloodstones. She had never thought that her gentle big brother Lin Ming would instantly kill Mo Di A. General Huo. Is that my big brother? War God. Is that Lord Lin? Huo Zen mumbled to himself. His big brother had actually become a general? Rebel army. Was it possible Lin Ming could really lead the human martial artists to overthrow the silent green tribe? On the killing road, Lin Ming had taken the lead at the front. No one could catch up to his speed. Dozens of blood-drinking seals danced in the air around him, and deadly beams of crimson light cut through the air. Sharp screams emitted in the skies. At this time, Lin Ming was a storm of blades. Wherever he visited, blood drained. There was basically no giant demon that could approach Lin Ming. With just a single strike, these giant demons would be beheaded. Not just that, but before their corpse even hit the ground, a blood fog would burst out from their bodies and condense into a new blood-drinking seal that gathered at Lin Ming's side. Any three-star demon general or higher was turned into a blood-drinking seal. As for the lower-level giant demons, their blood essence was sucked out to nourish the other blood-drinking seals. Otherwise, there would already have been hundreds of blood-drinking seals around Lin Ming. The rebel army rampaged down the roads as if they were an unstoppable force. As for Lin Ming, over 70% of the dead giant demons had perished at his hands, including all of the three-star demon generals and above. Those that the rebel army had killed were basically the ones that had run away from Lin Ming. The human martial artists that followed Lin Ming were shocked to see him cut down these high-level demon generals like vegetables. And then, that shock turns to numbness. Under Lin Ming's hand, it was as if these demon generals weren't the haughty and all-powerful beings they were before, but rather lambs that were to be butchered. The silent green tribe headquarters was broken into. The 100-foot-high gates were torn down by the blood-drinking seals like tofu. Bang! The walls of the headquarters disintegrated. The tent walls were made from skyworm silk. They were able to resist the cut of sabers and the burn of fire, but these tent walls were ripped apart by the blood-drinking seals. Within the great tent, six giant demon elders were standing side by side. They were all six-star demon generals. These six individuals were the greatest powerhouses within the Silent Green Tribe, and also represented the highest authority. To the mortal slaves of the Silent Green Tribe, they were no different than gods. The six great elders looked old. They wore long black robes, and standing shoulder to shoulder, they emitted a powerful, incomparable aura. They were like six divine beings. They gave off a feeling that no one would be able to contend with them. Even the previously heroic and unparalleled rebel army timidly paused in front of these six. They couldn't stop their hearts from shaking. Every one of these six six-star demon generals was several times stronger than Modi A. If they combine their strength, could Lin Ming still win one against six? At this time, no one doubted Lin Ming's strength. It was just that the six great elder strength and influence were too great. Junior, what is your name? It's impossible for someone like you to remain unknown. Are you a talent raised from a human sect in the northern domain of the holy demon continent? The first elder on the right said. The bewitching cloud prairie was only a small, immaterial part of the holy demon continent that was barely worth mentioning at all. As for all of the other lands, the people of bewitching cloud prairie commonly grouped them together as the northern domains. Lin Ming was silent. He was secretly estimating the strength of these six elders in front of him. If he were to use their blood essence to make blood drinking seals, just how strong would they be, Junior? I will give face to your sect and consider this matter finished. You will apologize to my silent green tribe, and we will no longer pursue this matter. Otherwise, the six of us will join forces and put you to death. Another elder spoke. His voice was low and hoarse. He wasn't afraid of Lin Ming, but rather the sect that stood behind Lin Ming. Although it was said that humans within the holy demon continent were much weaker than the giant demons, this didn't mean that humans didn't have their own powerhouses. If a sect could raise such a terrifyingly monstrous powerhouse, they had to be a fourth grade sect or higher. That was an existence that their small silent green tribe was unable to provoke. As the elder spoke, all of the human rebels were surprised, and then anxious. They feared that Lin Ming would choose to compromise. In that case, Lin Ming would be safe, but all of them would be flayed alive. Lin Ming only faintly smiled. He calmly said, Sorry, but I am not the least bit interested in your proposal.